I'm going to show you how to save Google Slides presentations. Now, there are a variety of different ways you can do this. So getting right into the first way, if you just want to save this Google Slides presentation to your computer, all you need to do is at the top left of the page, click where it says file right here and scroll down to download. And hovering over that, you can actually see that there are a few different formats you can see. So if you want to maybe download just the current slide you're on, you can pick one of the image formats down here. Or if you want to download the entire presentation, you can pick um, Microsoft PowerPoint, for example, if you have PowerPoint on your computer. But if you don't, you can also select PDF documents since this is usually the most compatible file and it helps when you want to maybe email this slide deck to someone else. So I'm going to go ahead and just select PDF document right here. As you can see, it downloaded. So I'm just going to go ahead and head into my downloads folder and I'll show you that the file is downloaded on my computer. And as you can see, the entire presentation ended up getting downloaded to my computer right here. Now, let's say you, someone shared their presentation with you and you just want to keep it and make a copy of it into your own Google Drive and you don't want to really download it onto your computer. Um, the way you can do that is by going back into file as well. And instead of going to download, you can actually see there is an option that says make a copy. And what you can do is hovering over that, you can make a copy either of the entire presentation or just some, sl some slides. Let's say I want the entire presentation. You can then go ahead and name it. Um, and I can, you know, I'm just gonna leave it as a copy of sample presentation and um, you can select the folder where you want it to save in your Google Drive. And then you can go ahead and um, look through some of these options and see really if uh, any of these options are relevant to you. Um, for me, I'm just gonna leave everything unchecked and I can just click make a copy. And what you'll see is in a second, it'll actually pop up with an entirely new copy of the sample presentation. Um, now what I can even do is go ahead and show you if I change the text on the sample presentation um, or the copy of the sample presentation, when I go back to the original, you can actually see it doesn't affect that. So that just proves that this is a completely isolated copy of the um, presentation that we have on our own Google Drive now. So I hope this information was helpful to you. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to reply back with a response and how we can figure that out. And if you did like this video and if you learned something, be sure to leave a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this.